Hello and welcome into the Knicksverse. My name is George, and if this is your first time here or you've been here before but haven't subscribed yet, please do so along with hitting that thumbs up button for me and dropping your comments. The comments are essential for me personally, so you guys help me a lot uh, when I hear your thoughts and feelings. And uh, I mean, I think uh, I have a feeling what we're going to be talking about a lot in the comments uh, this time is about, uh, you know, just the lack of of respect that Jalen Brunson is getting from the NBA refs. Jalen Brunson is a legit MVP candidate. He's an all NBA uh, point guard right now. As far as I'm concerned, he was he was an all-star this year. He is now in fifth in terms of uh, points scored in the NBA. And yet he still gets dissed by the refs constantly. I'm going to show you a play. It's a key play at the end of the game. It should have been a foul call with an and one, which even if Shea Gilgis Alexander, who'd hit that, I mean, it's a tough shot. He, what he took, a turnaround jumper, baseline, he hit it, which gave put them up ahead by one. But it should have just been a tie game at that point. So uh, this game should have gone into overtime. What happens in overtime, who knows? But the amount of disrespect that Jalen Brunson is getting from the refs is unacceptable unacceptable and needs to be looked into moving forward from this point on. All right, let's get into it here. The New York Knicks lost to the Oklahoma City Thunder 113-112 Sunday at MSG and it was uh, it was a frustrating game in terms of the Knicks not being able to hit their free throws. Their free throw shooting, you can I mean I can point to a lot of different things and yes, I highlighted the refs, but if the Knicks shoot their free throws, they win this game. So it's hard to be that, like, it's not the same as the previous game against the Spurs. This is very different. This should have been a call, but, you know, at the end of the day, you hit your free throws, you know, you win. And the bench. The bench has been an issue, and that is now why the New York Knicks are not in third place. Before, the, the Cleveland Cavaliers lost, and so we lost too. We could have been tied with the cat. Actually, we could have been solely, solely in third position at this point. This is a very frustrating situation. Actually, no, we would have been tied. Sorry, we would have been tied. Thirteen and a half games back. Uh, what am I going to say? We would have been forty-five and thirty. Same exact record as Cleveland. Now we're forty-four and thirty. Uh, we dropped below six hundred winning percentage, and uh, we're in that uh, danger zone of uh, you know having to face the Boston Celtics in the second round. But at this point, with uh, about nine games left, it is what it is. OG Ananobi was not available to play. Mitch Robinson, uh, he, he you know he hurt his ankle again in that previous game, though he did play through it uh, to close that game. He didn't play today. And still, no word on uh, Julius Randle's uh, impending return. So the New York Knicks are playing very depleted at this moment and the bench is where it's mostly showing up and just so you just so you know the Knicks bench was once again doubled up by the opponent's bench tonight the Knicks bench was, was outscored 36 to 18 18 additional bench points that OKC got look at that I mean it's just crazy the outscoring now the Knicks interestingly led the majority of this game <laughs> and they had built a nice lead, and they came out firing that third quarter. They were looking good. Deuce was looking good, but the minutes started catching up on to this team, and that is why we are looking at what we are looking at right now. At least we have a full game ahead of the Magic, which is really important because the Magic owned the tiebreaker with us. We own the tiebreaker with Cleveland, so there's still hope to get that third seed, but with the uncertainty of the injured players that are still out there, like starters. You know, well, Mitch, let's let's just call him not not a starter at this moment. But, you know, with Randall and OG still missing and the fact that we had to deplete our bench to make trades and also the guys that we brought in to fill fill in those minutes like Bojan and Burks, they've been a disaster. Let's just be frank about it. They've been a disaster. So it's a tough spot. But at the end of the day, we got to acknowledge the absolute amazingness of Jalen Brunson. <laughs> this guy came up with 30 points tonight after putting up 61 against the Spurs. And uh, I mean, I, I can't even imagine where we would be without him. 
And it, it, it in some ways, it makes you feel like, wait, are we wasting this magical season that he's having uh, with injured players? We'll see. We shall see. But this is what he did today in a loss. 30 points, 7 assists, 2 rebounds, 1 steal, a plus 17. Plus 17 in plus minus. So while he was on the court, the Knicks outscored OKC by 17, which means when he was off the court, we were outscored by 18. We were outscored by 18 points when Brunson was off the court. And if you think about how many minutes Brunson plays, Brunson played, let's see, to be exact, 35 minutes. 35 minutes. So, oh, wow. So for 13 minutes, in 13 minutes, the Knicks were outscored by 18 and that's what happened. And the thing is, the Knicks built up a nice lead and uh, in the third quarter, and they were leading by 10 at the beginning of the fourth quarter when Brunson was sitting, and instantly, within like a blink of an eye, the uh, seven points disappeared. And it was just a three-point lead. They called it, uh, I forgot, it was the Knicks who called the timeout, or uh, OKC called the timeout. And then <laughs> they come back in. Here, let me see. Let me, uh, I want to pull this up exactly so I know. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Giddy hit a three-point shot. Oh, that was after. Okay, the Knicks call a timeout. Three-point lead disappears. It's 10:42 left in the fourth quarter. This is it? It's the fourth quarter. We're playing at home. We come out. Dante hits a three-point shot. Nice. Puts the lead back up to six. But then Giddy wide open, wide open. So the OKC hit three three-pointers in the first minute and a half of that fourth quarter. And that lead disappeared because after that, uh, Kendrick Williams hit a three-point shot. Another wide-open look. Now, I think it was fatigue because this team was, you know, trying their best, trying this, their best to play good defense. They actually held OKC, you know, to under their or their yearly averages in that first quarter. And when the Knicks built a five-point lead, but the minutes caught up to them. The minutes caught up to this team, just so you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to show you all the stats later, but just rattling off. Uh, Dante played 40 minutes. Josh Hart played 46 minutes. Jalen Brunson, 35 minutes. Miles Deuce McBride, 46 minutes. So three starters played 40 minutes, and their lead po uh, point guard played 36 minutes himself. Isaiah Harnstein almost played 30 minutes, 29 and a half minutes for him. And, you know, he's on a minutes management situation. So, Precious Achua, who was the backup center tonight, he plays 22 minutes, a minus 13. So, he's in a game, minus 13. And the previous game, he was a minus 30. What's going on? What is going on? I mean, where where's our bench? Where are our guys who come in and do their best to at least not give up the lead? Not sink us. He, I mean, A minus 13? In 22 minutes of play, you got your butt beat tonight. And this is, I mean, I, I get it. OKC is, uh, uh, they're battling. I think they are the first seed right now. Fine. That's great. But we're playing at home. We're the third seed. We were going into this game. We were third seed. Where's our pride? I mean, maybe pride is the wrong word. But where is our ability to inflict our physicality on the opponent so that we don't allow them to go on these runs? A lot of questions. Tommy Beard tweet over the past over the over the Knicks past two games with Brunson on the court, we're a plus thirty seven. With Brunson on the bench, a minus forty one, and we're zero and two. Stefan Bondi tweeted this out: another dramatic defeat that came down to the final seconds, but the Knicks lost this at the start of the fourth quarter without Brunson in the game. A 10-point lead disappeared in two minutes, and that's what I was referring to before, and it came down to, so the, game, uh, the quarter started off, boom, 20-foot uh, jump shot by uh, Jalen Williams. Then Burks misses a floater, Achua rebounds and misses the putback right there, four foot, me misses it. Then uh, uh, Williams gets a block, Jalen Williams gets a rebound. Oh, no, he, he was blocked. And then uh, Wallace hits a 25-footer, three-pointer. Boom. Now the lead's only five. Then bad pass by, by a deuce. Turnover. Uh, Kendrick Williams gets a running layup. Boom. Now the score's 85-82. Knicks call a timeout. They come out. 
Dante hits a three, which is great because he was struggling tonight. Again, once again, no one else really coming through except for Deuce. Deuce did come through tonight. That's one thing. Deuce came through offensively. And then so Dante hits a shot. And then the next play, Giddy wide open at the top of the three-point line, straight on facing it, buries a three. Now it's 88-85. Then Isaiah Harnstein gets uh, called for uh, a charge. So it's a turnover. Uh, Bogdanovan gets subbed in for Achua because I, I, Thibs was like probably pulling his hair. I was like, what the fuck's going on? And then Kendrick Williams, wide open, three-point shot from the right side above the break. Mm. Now it's a, it's a tie game, 88-88. And then it was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until about three minutes left when the Knicks had tied it, came back and tied it, three minutes left in the game, and a beautiful thing happens. Here, I'm trying to find the moment here. Where is that? Here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, here it is. So, Brunson gets a three-point shot. We take the lead. No, no, we tie it. 104-104 with three and a half minutes left in the game at that point. And this is what happens here. We're ready. Boom. Right, just... What's that? That's got to be fatigue. I mean, a two on one. I mean, well, kind of just throws a terrible alley oop pass to Dante, who's not necessarily the alley oop slam dunk kind of guy you do that with anyway. But still, that's what you get out of that possession. And from that moment on, the Knicks looked kind of disjointed and they gave a lot of life to OKC at that moment. They, you saw a spring in their step. And from that point on, they, they uh, Jalen Williams ended up hitting a three-point shot right there. So it was 107-104. And then we played catch-up the rest of the way. And the Knicks were able to tie the game. No, actually, we were able to take the lead. 112-111. 112-111. Okay. From this play. Here it is. Look at this. Boom! Boom. Right there. That's a foul. In any way, shape, or form. That is a foul. Ooh! What's going on? That should have been an end one. We should have been up two. And then it would have made SGA's turnaround jump shot just the you know, send us into overtime. Ian Begley tweeted this out. That's a quote for Thibs. Write what you see. That's all I can say. Tom Thibodeau says, when you asked about Jalen Brunson taking a lot, a lot of contact when he made driving layup with four seconds to play in New York, when, when he was asked in New York uh, Knicks 113-112 uh, loss. Write what you see. All I can say. That's all I can say. And then, uh, I, well, you already saw the play, but this is what I tweeted out. Another soul-crushing defeat impacted by refs for the Knicks. Clyde said it best. Another excruciating loss. These will start to wear on you after a while. These are the kind of games that keep you up at night. You lose sleep over these. No doubt, Dart. Dort. Dart. Dort fouled Brunson here. Now, they might say, I even heard Brun, uh, Breen say, oh, well, the contact did come right after he released the ball. That's not, that's, he's in the air. He's in the air. So that's still a foul. He was just trying to argue, like, what, what the refs might say in that situation. All right, so I got stats here. Let's get to the highlights. Oh, man, what a frustrating game. What a frustrating game. Another another one after we lost to San Antonio. This one, uh, the San Antonio one hurts more because it was a waste of the 61 point masterpiece by uh, Jalen Brunson. Uh, but this one is almost just as frustrating because we had this game. We were more in control of this game. We were leading for uh, large. Uh, we were we were down 21 points against the San Antonio Spurs, which we never should have been. We came out not taking them seriously, but we are not closing out on the three point line the way we should, especially as the game wears on. Now, in the San Antonio game, it actually began in the first quarter. 
where we're just letting them have free, you know, open looks constantly and not taking them seriously. Now that's an open look for Deuce. Beautiful. Deuce had a d nice game for him. Uh, he shot, uh, let's see, uh, four of 10 from the three point line, hit all three of his free throws. Uh, he finished with 19 points, picked up three steals, three assists, four rebounds, and only committed one turnover for him. He, uh, I think he went through a, a long stretch of barely committing a turnover at all. As you can see, we were kind of in control of this game. We were baffling uh, OKC uh, defensively here in the first quarter. We did a good job defending them in the first quarter. I meant as the game wore on and the minutes piled up and the legs got more tired, that's basically where they were able to take advantage and get more open looks against us. Because in the first quarter, they only shot 3 of 11 from the three-point line. 27.3% for OKC, who is one of the best, uh, most efficient teams in the NBA. If, if not, if not, I think they are leading the NBA in field goal percentage. Uh, but in this game, in the first quarter, they couldn't even break 30%, which is why the Knicks went into uh, the second quarter, leading 22-17. Uh, but we weren't, we were, we were worse from a three-point line than them. We were three of 13, and Dante was one of four. Miles was one of four. Uh, right there, Precious missed one. Uh, Burks missed one. So did Josh Hart. Uh, and I think when Josh Hart misses his first one, he loses confidence in it. We need him to. We need. We need. We need some offense from from, from Hart. I know he does a lot of other great things. I know, but there's only five guys on the floor for for each team. You know, you can't have a guy who you can't count on him for a bucket. You know, so that's something that has to change. I mean, it just has to. Now I get it. He's playing out of position. Uh, he's playing way more minutes than he should. Uh, OG is really missed in terms of what uh, we're pushing Hart to do. There we go. So here, uh, OKC picks it up in the second quarter, uh, and they actually uh, kicked our butts in the second quarter, 33-24. to 24. So they were a plus nine in that quarter. We shot one of eight from the three-point line, 12.5%. <laughs> uh, they picked it up uh, from the three-point line. They hit three of seven, uh, and then they shot 12 of 22 overall. That's 54.5%. Uh, 11 rebounds for them. Eight assists in that second quarter. And now we're into the third quarter here. And the Knicks really came out firing the third quarter. I love the way we played here. We were able to uh, eliminate their uh, their five-point lead fairly quickly. Kind of like what uh, they did to us in the fourth quarter. And we ended up a plus 14. We outscored them 39-25. to 25. In that quarter, and a lot of it came from the three-point line. We hit six of 12 from the three-point line. We finally started connecting there. And that was uh, mostly Dante hit two of three there, uh, two of four for Jalen, two of four for Deuce. But here, check out the minutes here. Dante, 12 minutes he played the whole quarter. Josh Hart, 12 minutes, played the whole quarter. Deuce McBride, 12 minutes, played the whole quarter. Where was Bojan Bogdanovich? Alec Burks. He came in, he played two minutes and 41 seconds, pulled. He had one of his uh, two buckets. It was kinda, he, he's, just, he's, he's just, he's making bad attempts as well. There we go, nice play there. Uh, Precious, he played six minutes uh, and missed two of four from the free throw line. And uh, what was anything notable there? Uh, Ten points uh, for Brunson in the third quarter when the Knicks uh, took command of this game. And it looked like, oh, wow, we're going to beat the number one team the in the West tonight without OG, Randall, and Mitch. Ah, but I spoke too soon <laughs> at that point. I mean, at least I spoke to myself too soon. This was, uh, let me tell you, the Knicks assists. Here, Josh Giddy had a triple-double tonight. 16 points, 12 assists, and 13 rebounds for Josh Giddy. He's a unique talent, 6'8" can handle the ball, can shoot. He's got – oh, here, here I just I'm – basically everything that I talked about. Or look, there's the uh, uh, Kaysen uh, Wallace three-point shot that he hit. So this is after the timeout, and then Dante hits the nice three. Good little setup play. Beautiful. You think, okay, we're getting our shit together. But, boom, here we go. Look, wide open. Dante doesn't even close out hard on him because he was afraid that he was going to get blown past him. Uh, Giddy did abuse Dante DiVincenzo in that fourth quarter. Hey, here, another wide open look right there. Don't you give guys wide open looks, they get comfortable. They start they start making them. They get comfortable. They get confident. Nice little dunk right there. The Knicks took the lead, 93-91, but then they gave up a three-point shot. They didn't show that one. 
Here's Brunson getting smashed. No foul call. No foul call right there. And then look, here we go. Interesting little play. Josh Giddy right there. A little spin move. Yeah, he abused Dante right there. Dante's just undersized there, and he doesn't have quite the technique to be able to defend a bigger player like that. He should st stand in front of him, take the foul, or, I mean, he, he basically, actually, what he should do is try to cut him off. Another open shoot. Look, the OKC is a great team. They whip the ball around, and that's why they get nice open looks. Here we are. We're down eight. And then we start coming back because Brunson got put it back in the game. Brunson in the fourth quarter was abysmal from the free throw line. He missed those two, and then he got the, he hit the three-point shot. He was only one of four from the free throw line. The, the Knicks shot 10 of 17 in the fourth quarter from the free throw line. So we missed seven free throws, lost the game by one. Math is easy. Dante, I mean, Deuce hits a big bucket right there. So now it's 109-108, minute and a half left. Here, I don't. They kept. They were hot. They were looking. They were targeting uh, uh, Jalen Brunson and Dante Divincenzo out on the perimeter, and it was working out for OKC. And that's the play that should have been a foul, an end one. So now we're, we're up by one. Here's the play, Deuce. You know, Deuce, who played the entire second half because he played all of the fourth quarter as well. He didn't have the legs to get up there to intimidate him. And here's the final shot, Jalen Brunson. Got a, you know, it was a tough look. Wasn't able to connect for the win. Jeez. Look at that. Look at the bench right there. Eight points for Precious. Good. At least that's eight. Only five, five for Bojan in 11 minutes. Five for Burks in 12 minutes. And the Knicks were outscored by 17 during that period of time. Uh, what else? Let me just keep moving here because I'm so annoyed about all this. <laughs> Uh, Jalen Brunson, as I mentioned, look, he was a plus 17 for him. Pressure's a minus 13. Uh, Bojan a minus 2. Burke's a minus 9. Bojan a minus 2, but in reality, how many minutes did he play? He played 11 minutes. Eh, you know, he did make a few buckets. That was a period of time. I think it was in the third quarter. No, not that was in the second quarter. That was in the second quarter when he contributed. Uh, that, 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 uh, Jeffries, you know, I don't know what, did he actually get in the game? I guess so. Uh, that, 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 Josh Hart, look. 13 points for him, four turnovers, but 15 rebounds and six assists. But the man shot four of nine overall. He missed his one three-point attempt, didn't attempt one, another one again. And the thing is, a lot of times when he's passing up open looks, you know, that means that the offense has to struggle to get another good open look again. So that stuff has got to stop, man. Got to stop. But Dante struggled from the three-point line tonight. Uh, he was only four of 16. He shot 25%. Uh, man. The, the Knicks shot 30.2% overall from the three-point line. And uh, I showed you that. Uh, here's OKC. Uh, Chet Holgram, uh, he struggled tonight. He didn't He didn't have it. Uh, he only played 26 minutes, uh, five points for him, five rebounds. Uh, Jalen Williams, uh, J-Dub, uh, Breen couldn't stop uh, singing his praises, and it's hard not to. Uh, look, for 14 of 18 he shot. He was a bucket. Though, one of four from the three-point line. Uh, he finished with 33 points. He was the uh, high scorer of the game. Uh, Shea Gilgis, he actually struggled for most of the game until he hit that big shot. He had another big shot as well. He finished with 19 points himself, only three assists. Uh, Josh Giddy, triple-double for him, 12 assists. Uh, Dort, who should have fouled out of the game a couple of times, only four points for him. Uh, and their, look, their, their bench, look, one, two, three, four, five, six guys got, you know, significant play time. Look at those minutes. 19 minutes for, uh, for Jay Will, the other Jay, uh, Jay, uh, Jalen Williams. Uh, Gordon Hayward, 11 minutes. Uh, Williams, uh, Kendrick Williams, 10 minutes. Uh, Isaiah Joe, 16. Uh, Aaron Wiggins, 14. And Kaysen Wallace, 16 minutes for him. So six points, four points, six points, seven points, five points, eight points. There you go. There you go. Uh, here you go. Points in the paint was even. Uh, the Knicks could not get anything going on the fast break, and that's where Josh Hart usually, uh, uh, where he thrives. He wasn't able to get those grab and goes and finish at the other end. Uh, we, were, we were minus 10 in the fast break points. Uh, but in second chance points, we did dominate there. In the end, the free throw shooting was abysmal for us, but so it was for them as well. If they hit their free throw shots, 
you know, this game becomes a lot more difficult to uh, to win. They hit on they were 12 of 24 from the free throw line. So, you know, uh, that's just kind of the way it goes. But still, we should hit our shots. We can't control what they do. We can only control what we do in terms of the free throws. Uh, the Knicks only had 24 assists, so we lost that battle. We barely out-rebounded uh, rebounded OKC 46-43. to 43. So that's it. There we go. There we go. The New York Knicks. New York Knicks. They play again next Sunday <laughs> against the Milwaukee Bucks. And as uh, if you haven't heard yet, uh, I'm having a watch party at the Greyhound Bar and Grill in Glendale. So anyone who's in L.A. who's a Knicks fan or in Southern California nearby, come on up. Let's have a fun time. The season's coming to a close. Uh, despite all the frustrations of the last two games, this team is still in fourth seed. It's in the playoffs with the possibility of the third seed. It, it's been one of the most amazing seasons we've had in years. Let's come celebrate. It's going to be a good vibe, good food. There's great cocktails, great food, actually. It's really good food. Uh, it's going to be a fun time. I'm going to give away some Knicks vs. hats, and we're going to have a fun time. we have some games and stuff. And uh, I'll be there earlier. The, obviously, the game starts at 4, but I'll be there at least by 3, if not earlier. So we can, if you guys want to come a little earlier, we can uh, chop it up and stuff, talk Knicks. It'd be fun to meet some of you guys in person. Uh, and hopefully, we'll get a win. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching this. Again, my name is George. Please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and share this video. Share any of my videos. It really helps me. I would appreciate that. And uh, drop your comments. Definitely want to hear your thoughts and feelings about uh, anything. Anything related to the Knicks. And uh, all right. That's it. I hope uh, you had a good Easter. If you celebrate Easter, or you had a nice uh, weekend itself. And uh, I will see you around the next bird.